You can set the background of your spectra to be either white or black. Simply go to Project and Preferences, or press the Control or Command button and Comma. Here in the General tab under Colour Scheme, you can select either light to have a white background or dark to have a black background. This automatically changes the mouse and axis colours and also contour colours of new spectra that are imported uh, to match the black background. The colour scheme you choose then stays constant across all your projects. You can change contour levels simply by going to the buttons in the toolbar and either raising your contour level or lowering it. You can also right click and go to contours and then you can, for each spectrum that's visible in that display separately, set the contour base level, the multiplier, which essentially determines how close together the contour lines are drawn, the number of contours and the colour. And of course you can also select whether to draw positive or negative contours or not. You can select from a whole range of different colours and also choose custom colours. Simply select a new box where you want to place your custom colour, choose the colour and add it in. If you have several spectra visible in one display you can switch these on and off using these buttons in the spectrum toolbar. You can toggle the spectrum toolbar on and off using SB and you can toggle the main toolbar on and off using TB. You can also access these through the right hand mouse menu. If you want to remove one of the spectra, simply right click on it and go to remove spectrum. You could then add it in again by clicking on the spectrum in the sidebar and dragging it back into the display. By default, you always have a crosshair attached to your mouse. If you'd like to remove this, you can toggle it on and off with CH. You can also change your standard crosshair into a double crosshair with CD. This will toggle it on and off and it will means that in a spectrum where you have a diagonal you get the crosshairs on both sides of the diagonal and both chemical shifts are then marked in the other spectra. You can add grid lines using GS and remove them again and all of these features are also accessed via the uh, right hand mouse menu. If you go to project preferences then under spectrum you can also set what you would like your global preferences to be i.e. what the default value is when you open or create a new project. You can change the aspect ratio of your spectra by going onto one of the axes and then scrolling with the mouse wheel. This effectively zooms in selectively on that axis and means that you change the aspect ratio. For more information on zooming and aspect ratios, have a look at our zooming video. You can lock the aspect ratio by clicking onto this lock button in the bottom left hand corner. Finally, if you would like to visualise your spectra in a different axis arrangement, you can very easily flip your spectra. So at the moment this display has protons along the x-axis, carbon along y and nitrogen in z. You can use xy, xz or yz simply to flip two of these axes. So for instance with yz I flip it and now I've got an hnc display with nitrogen along the y-axis and carbon in the z-axis. For more information on flipping spectra, have a look at our extra video on flipping spectra.